Hello, 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 and welcome back to another video. My name is B Ami, and I am going to talk about some reality TV star today. I'm gonna to be talking about Michael Bote. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, now, if you don't know who Michael is, he was a Winter Love Island contestant, and some people liked him, some people didn't, some people found him cringing. What was mainly highlighted was what was going on on the outside world whilst he was inside so i'm just giving you a little bit of a background if you don't know when i'll be going on my instagram and my twitter he's popping up and for the most part he's not popping up for the right reasons as in like somebody will make memes about him and priscilla or something and i just thought to myself this guy is not getting a break but he would respond but one thing that i loved about mike is that he the way that he will respond is he wouldn't come for people like he would just state the facts and then just end it there like you know he would just say he's one two one two and then just leave it there they were not talking about his love island affairs they was talking about his personal life he previously used to work in the police force when he went in there were some allegations against him it was quite bad he recently came out and made a statement which i'm going to read so he said today i had my final hearing regarding gross misconduct while serving at Greater Manchester Police. As you are aware, I have been subjected to public scrutiny. This involved members of the press harassing my family and friends and my public image being fainted through lies created by the press. Before today's hearing, the majority of the allegations I faced were dropped. I have now been cleared of, false, of all false allegations as well as being able to resume to work with public services, including the GMP, should I choose to. This has been a combination of over three years of mistreatment. Now that all the allegations have been dropped, the entire ordeal has come to an end. I give all glory to God. Hallelujah. I would like to thank Judy Khan, Garden Court Chambers, Sahar Hanford, solicitors Terry McMillan and my family for their support and help during this time. And to anyone facing this kind of injustice, please never give up. The truth will always come out. I'm so glad that he put out that post. And furthermore, you know, when he was going through his hearing, there was um, sayings of how he was mistreated, how he was called a gorilla, and to the audacity of the person that did, that called him a gorilla said that, you know, he said it um, out of anger or something like that, like, he, you know, he's, he said it out of whatever, whatever. At the end of the day, there is absolutely no excuse to go through this kind of treatment. They were saying that he apparently moved to this girl um in the in his police car she was underage blah 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 and obviously he must have um clapped back and was like how can i be in a police car when i don't even have a license at that time and you know it's all of these things that like build up build up and can you just imagine like your family your friends being harassed and the worst part of it is your character being assassinated which is what they were trying to do but thanks be to god like they did not succeed they did not succeed like to come for someone's character you know and with such allegations as well that is absolutely disgusting and it's disgraceful like i'm glad that that's all done and all dusted and for anyone that was opening their woo -woo 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 -woo, their mouths can now just it can now be sealed about this matter and he can just move on he can just move on be happy do his thing like i actually liked mike a lot of people found him cringing and this and this and that but I don't know like he's come across to me as someone who even with everything that he's gone through he said his piece and stepped back like he's not come for anybody no one should ever have to go through that i can only imagine the level of racism and it's not just in the police form in the police force you know, i have heard of this even in the medical um um sector this underlying racism um and you know it's absolutely diabolical mm. but yeah guys like ooh, well done victory 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 and yeah like that's all done and dusted now what do you guys think like was you team mike or was you just indecisive in the middle you didn't know what do you guys think of this whole ordeal if i was him i would be like you lot need to seriously compensate me fam like you lot need to seriously 
not an apology is not just good enough like to put someone through all of this you know sometimes yeah when when them people want to um put something on you it, they will build up a case against you and they will take small 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 things build up and you don't even know that they're building up a file against you like you don't even know that they are stacking 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 up and the day that they will come for you they'll bring up this file they'll be like oh pandy files and their jaws will just be opening of small small minor things that you did and you're thinking and they'll just start calling you for like small small things like it's actually crazy it's actually crazy what we go through um which is a lot of the time unspoken of comment down below what do you guys think thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye